Today, we have a pilot watch from San Martin, with design keys from Zenitype 20 and San Martin's. Good attention to detail and quality, this promises to be a crack of a watch. Also, this particular version has somewhat unusual movement, so how good is this watch? Well, in this video, we'll try to find out. Hello and welcome back! I had my eye on this watch for a while now, I think it is a very interesting timepiece, however, I see it as being overshadowed by a newer and more expensive offerings from San Martin. Nevertheless, in my opinion, this somewhat underrated watch deserves another look. This watch comes with three different movement options – Swiss Celita SW200, a slightly cheaper PT5000 movement version and the most affordable option which we have here, powered by Japanese YN55 movement made by Orient. I will have links to this watch and to San Martin official store in the description of this video. And of course, before we get into the review, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Now, the pilot watches historically are meant to be large and prominent – 45 to 50 mm or even larger. This is kind of by design. However, if only piloting you plan on doing is around your office desk, then personally I'm much more comfortable with the slightly more compact dimensions, like this watch here. As I mentioned in the intro, this watch is San Martin's interpretation of Zenit Type 20 Pilot. Classic Zenit Pilot is about 45 mm in diameter and San Martin has a version of this watch which is about the same size, but thanks heavens, the trend of wearing a 50 mm or even larger clocks on the wrist is kind of behind us, well, at least for now, so San Martin offers this model which is 40 mm in diameter and, in my opinion, 40 mm is much more wearable size for this particular case. Dimensions – so we have a classic 40 mm diameter with 20 mm lux proportions. The case height, as I measured it, is 12.8 mm, which is actually quite compact, despite the prominent look of this watch, and should comfortably slide under a cuff. Lock tip to lock tip is just over 48 mm, which makes this watch suitable to a high variety of wrist sizes from about 6 inches and up. On the supplied leather strap, this watch weighs 91 grams, nice and light. The supplied leather strap is of a good quality and will cover up to about 8 inches or 20 cm wrist circumference. Also, at the time of making this video, San Martin was offering two length options for the strap. The one, the first option was long one, which is default shipping option and the one that actually we have on this watch. And the second one is the short style, suitable for wrists from about 5.9 to 7.5 inches in circumference. Dial. Dial maintains a vintage pilot watch aesthetics. Dial background has an interesting grainy texture and a gradient look with a slightly lighter center and the darker shades towards the perimeter. Looks like Arabic our indices were made of luminescent material and applied straight to the dial. Well, actually, Sanatan calls it 3D printed indices, so probably the hour indices were printed with luminescent material straight onto the dial. The minute chaptering and the 5 minute intervals are printed as well, the print is nice and crisp. Dial design is very clean and minimalistic, there is no date and we get familiar hexagon San Martin logo on top and a simple two-liner above the 6 o'clock marker. We have a prominent cathedral style hands, I always prefer hands with a good length and here San Martin didn't disappoint, we can see how the minute and the second hand stretches all the way to the edge of the dial. Hands are also generously filled with loom, so with a good contrast between the hour indices and background and with a good amount of C3 loom, the dial stays very legible, as we would expect from a well put together pilot watch. Crystal. We have a nice, ever so slightly curved double dome sapphire crystal here. San Martin also applied an air coating, which gives this already very legible watch at that extra level of legibility. Case. Moving on to the case, we get a very minimalistic and yet elegant case here. It has a full stainless steel construction with combination of mirror polished bezel and satin brushing on the flanks and the back of the case. The case also features well-sculpted lugs, which are also brushed. 
I really like the prominent onion crown on this watch. It is screw down crown and it is very well finished and makes the operation of the watch very, very easy. Saint Martin went with a sterile back case here. The back case has a circular brushing and is secured by four screws. Saint Martin declares 100 meters of water resistance on this watch, which is fine for a pilot watch. Technically, 100 meters of water resistance should be okay even for swimming. However, I'm not sure how the leather strap will handle the exposure to water. So, something to consider if you want to take this watch for a dip. Movement. Now, as I mentioned earlier, San Martin offers this watch with three different movements. Swiss Solita SW200 and Chinese-made PT5000. Both of these movements are, of course, clones of Swiss ETA 2824 movement, which beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour. And there is also a more budget-friendly option with YN55 Japanese-made movement manufactured by Orient. This movement was built as a successor to 46943 Orient Kaliberg, which was used in Orient watches for more than 40 years. And this movement has been used since 2016 in popular Orient divers like Maker 2 and Orient Ray 2. So, this is well-established and reliable and dependable automatic caliber. It has 40 hours of power reserve, it beats at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It also hacks, that is, the second hand stops when we pull the crown to adjust the time and it can be hand wind too. A quick note here, this movement also has a date function, while this watch, as we can see, doesn't feature a date. So, this results in so-called ghost position of the crown. Not a big deal and most of the time you probably won't even notice it. I like this caliber on this watch. In my opinion, it provides a compelling combination of good quality movement and an affordable price. But of course, if you are after that slightly smoother sweeping glide of a second hand, you can always go for a Swiss SW200 Solita movement or PT5000 options, which beat at a slightly higher frequency but will come with the price premium. Would you pay a premium for a smoother sweeping second hand? Well, please do let us know in the comments. Bracelet. Well, taking a closer look at this leather strap, as already mentioned, the leather strap on this watch is of a very decent quality. The leather feels soft and pliable and the stitching is well applied. It has no taper, so it is 20 mm by the, uh, by the lugs and by the buckle. We also get a well-sculpted branded buckle here, which can be taken off and reused on another 20 mm strap, should you decide to replace this one. And as an added bonus, this leather strap comes with a quick release, which makes it very simple to remove it without any tools. Okay, so if you want to take a break from your desk diver watch and experience a desk pilot, I think this timepiece is a very good option. We get a usual San Martin's execution quality and a strong loom backed by a reliable Japanese caliber. I also like nice vintage aesthetics of this watch, a great timepiece for about 200 bucks. An easy choice if this is the type of watch you're after. But if pilots are not your cup of tea and you want to see diver watch reviews, then I will put a link somewhere, probably somewhere here on the screen. Right, so I hope you find this review helpful and if you do, please do hit that like button, it does help with that notorious YouTube algorithm and of course subscribe if you haven't already done so and as always, thank you for watching, take care and I will see you in the next one.